if you don't know about the show like i can't i can't def- i'm like trying to defend my actions my christian ass is supposed to be having sex on national television and having a miscarriage no for you guys you read it i read it you know Shut i read up. it i read girl what's up y'all we are back for another episode of after class the queen's podcast and boy do we have a queen up in the building okay Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited to have my girl Bay on the show. Yes, and we're excited to be here. Queens yes. only. I'm Queen, like, let me do my little. Yes, Queens <laughs> only. I just, you know, just a little um disclaimer. Yes, we don't have Ari, Sammy, and uh Jazz here today. They are booked and blessed, yes. doing their own things. Cause you know, only queens come into the building. You yes. know what I'm saying? And they have their own businesses, they have like their own things, and, and we're nobody, supporting that. And we're yes. supporting that we don't get mad just because you know they're not able to be here it's like okay bitch go do Message. your thing and when you ready i'm gonna be here yeah exactly yes. so shout out to them we love them they'll be here the next episode right now it's just a conversation between lee and bay yes. and i want to start all the way from the beginning because this is definitely a new friendship yes but it feels like it's been a friendship for a while i know and <laughs> I love why that. Does it, why does it feel so familiar? Because we're connected to each other. So, I, okay, we have to we have to tell them the story. So, okay. I like about our friendship because I knew you before you knew me, and you knew me before I knew you. Right. So we already were like, let me check this girl out. I like her. I vibe with her. But then right. when the official friendship happened, it was like, yes, I finally get to like have her in my life. Literally, mm-hmm. like literally everything connected. So if you guys don't already recognize the face, this is Bay, Queen Bay. You guys might know her from Big Brother. Okay, okay the show. <laughs> two seasons. I did two seasons, which is crazy. I did an all-star season and a regular season, which is where I met my man. And then I did an MTV show, um, The Challenge, which was interesting. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can we go into those We can things? go into all of those things. So what I'm going to say is I don't even know if my audience knows this, but I'm a, such a Big Brother fan. Yes! Now, I know there's like fan fans out there. Super fans. I'm, yeah, there's super fans out there. I'm not quite a super okay. fan, but I definitely watch every motherfucking season. Okay. And I get invested Ooh. into it, much maybe as much as you guys are invested. You might I, be a super fan, though. I pick so, out, <laughs> I'm like... I pick out my favorite people. I, mm. I literally am like, yep, Bay is going to fucking win. Yes. Do we see the commitment? Do we yes. see the leadership? Do we see Period. how she's like... She has that balance of, you know, still keeping her morals, still keeping mm. everything that she believed in in the outside world, but then knows how to strategize and kind of, you know, and move in the way where it's effective for you and your game. Period. So just, like, the affirmation, but the threat. You know, people were threatened. It's fine. They can handle that, but I still want... Um, but yes, it is. It's like, <laughs> I'm pulling it together, but you got balances because some people will do whatever it takes and they will be backstabbing and whatever, but I'm like, I have morals and I have things to do in the outside world right but then you got to play the game so right. it's a balance so for the people who don't know what big brother is mm. shame on you if, mm. you, don't, if you don't bitch. come on cole do you know um do you know big brother oh thank oh goodness, you saw my face I was about I was like, to- ah. <laughs> okay okay good, good. i was about to say but for the people yeah. who don't know can you please explain what that show is Woo! okay so big brother is a social experiment where 16 people from all over the country come into one house and they compete to see who's gonna last in the house the longest it's social it's physical there's competitions it's wild people do whatever they can to get to the top because they win money at the end and that's mm. pretty much that one house uh 16 people one bathroom unless you win a competition it's not okay no, no outside communication. No, you were you were locked in there for a hundred days. So I've done two seasons. So I've been in the house for probably around one fifty because I didn't make it the long on the second season. But you have no communication with the outside world, and I mean absolutely none. No phone calls, no letters, no no anything unless you win and you get like a pre written letter. Like it is psychological warfare. Wait, okay, so pot. Do we get letters? like that we that the audience d- doesn't see because I know there's like a point in the show where you know you'll be able to see a video from yeah. your loved ones and that's kind of like towards the end to mm-hmm. kind of like give you that boost because at yes. this point you're already fucking Woo! ran down you know what I'm yes. saying but do you, are you able to just have are there things that the audience doesn't see when it comes to communication with your husband your children your no family bitch. No, no bitch no bitch and it's so upsetting because none like you don't get any extra and you know that there's live feeds 24-7 so when you got like the only 
only time that you possibly could get a letter is if you get to the jury house and they had letters that you would have gotten if you would have won, then they'll give you those letters because it's like, okay, we're already done with you. But no, there is no oh. phone calls, no Skypes, no tweets, no let me write something down and send it on, on a piece of paper, no nothing. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this, bitch. Mm. So other than people who would maybe like want to win the money or yeah. being a super fan, <laughs> why would you go on the top? You know what? <laughs> you know what? I wish somebody would ask me that question before I went on the show. I don't. I'm like, this kind of sounds a little cray cray. But that's so why would what you they want do. to know from Big So other than winning money, uh-huh. other than, you know, uh, fame, potential fame, mm-hmm. exposure, other than being a super fan, why would you go on the show? To find a husband. Um, no. Okay. <laughs> Which no, I no. get into because she did. We will, we will. But okay, no. So I got tricked and I like say that with like a grain of salt, but I actually mean it because I was doing Miss USA stuff and a uh, producer found me from Miss USA and was like, hey, we want to want you to go on the show. That show was Survivor. I said, absolutely not. I don't do the wilderness. And they're like, <laughs> okay, it's fine. We have another one. So I was like, okay, what is it? So they made me watch it and I was like, I'm good. Like, I'm just going to chill. I was doing my modeling thing. And then they kept just hitting me up. So I was like, okay, they're real persistent. What is it? And yeah. so when they finally like got me to LA, they they didn't tell me it was finals and I got casted for the show just thought I was going to meet producers and then they were like you're on the show so it was like a whirlwind I didn't even get to be like what is this what's going on I didn't know the fans were crazy that's why I got into so much trouble the first season because I was just being my authentic self which I guess is pretty good right. you know but right. everybody was just up in arms about it and I was like oh I didn't know that there was gonna be an army of people upset about my livelihood it's a mess wow yeah. it's, it's very serious like the fans are serious right right so Ooh. but okay it is it, it is crazy but and but the answer to answer your question there's absolutely no reason if you don't know about the show like I can't I can't def- I'm like trying to defend my actions but I can't if you don't know about the show and you just go on it's gonna be a whirlwind and I don't know why anybody would do that they purposely do that just to have people look like they're just caught in headlights you know but other than winning the money or you know a little social media fame or whatever you know whatever people do there's absolutely no reason I don't no reason. none no so I literally we literally shout out everybody who has been on the show because y'all are some strong ass period and y'all messed up because of it i'm gonna say that to y'all <laughs> y'all messed up and i know that y'all emotionally scarred i hope y'all do some recovery because that show it will mess you up mentally so you have a little like ptsd girl a lot really oh my god every time i come off of a show it takes me like three months to even get back to myself like my family's like you're so weird like, when you come off these shows because you're just like quiet you're like you know overwhelmed overstimulated there's so many people like your phone is back you don't like it's just like really awkward so ptsd and then you think everybody's trying to stab you in the back you don't think anybody's telling you the truth it's really aggressive like because you're just so used to the tv world oh, and yeah. being on all the oh, time and pe- or just- listen they trying to they coming for you really no rules and then they're like it's just a game no y'all got me messed up yeah. yeah it's not clearly it's, it's not, not it's my fucking life it's my life oh listen oh yeah literally i'm like no this is my life i don't Wait, know what kind of game y'all playing but this is not it oh my so would you go back oh no because <laughs> i because i thought you would be like honestly i thought that there was maybe a slight chance no. where you'd be like no you know what yeah bitch because no. i kind of i know i know how to i just know what to uh. expect now i can mentally mentally physically prepare myself spiritually mm. prepare myself so that maybe i can go in and you know play differently you know what though yes and no so i know that if i went back into the house i could play differently the problem with that is that um and if i'm just going to be 100 percent honest the people that they put in the house um are not the most enlightened people they're not the most woke people so the reason why they target people like me are for reasons that i can't control and that's exhausting for me so that always puts me in a tailspin of like okay what can i do what can i do and the answer is absolutely nothing because i'm with people who have you know and if we're being honest cbs big brother knows they have a problem with this that have never had a relationship with the black girl that that think you know something about me is intimidating just because of the way that i look and i'm actually like real real nice to these people you know Mm, so it's just mm. crazy where it's like it's just so much overtime so i'm not only playing the game i'm playing like the prejudice of the game you know it's just a lot going on and so i'm just like i'm gonna let i'm gonna pass it to the next torch because i'm exhausted and then now since people know me, they already have preconceived notions about me. So they're going to come in like, oh, oh, my God, I don't want to piss Bay off. Yeah, you don't. But that's not the game I'm playing right now. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm just I need to sit down. 
I'm gonna go ahead and coach. You know, coach the next. Per- I'm done. I'm wow. done. Yeah, that's it's so, hard. Yeah, that is fucking crazy. And I feel like that's something that people just need to consider because it's like when you're watching them, you feel like you know mm-hmm. them. You feel like you're watching the truth. Yes, and you're getting the truth. And it's like no, there's so many things Portions. behind the scenes yeah. that maybe we're not able to see and we're not we're not exposed to. It's <sighs> like. And this is this is some deep shit so quickly in the yeah, show. I'm like, it's like, exhausting. It literally, I feel like that show and others mm-hmm. and media and just everything along those lines. It's like you, we see what they want us to see. Yes, but you know what? And th- I'm so happy that I had this side of it too because I grew up in the modeling industry, and the model industry is there's there's issues in that area, but it's not the same. Like if you can model, girl, you modeling. That's it. Right. When it comes to production and the way that casting works. Um, traditionally, the entertainment industry just hasn't evolved yet. So they cast people based off of stereotypical things. When they have a casting list, they're like, we need a lesbian. We need a black girl. We need a this, 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 that. And you mark off a list. They're not looking at the person who they are. So Same when, thing as the dance industry. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, mm-hmm. it's, you know, you everything f- period. Period. Basically. And you fit a box. And so the yeah. world is evolving slightly, right. but we're the guinea pigs. Right. You know, so it's not like people are like, oh, well, it's getting better. Yeah, great. But because of me, you're welcome. I had to go through all this stuff. And now, now, you know, there is cultural training before, you know, the shows because they had some some things that were said and some some, you know, so it's like you're welcome. And each year it gets better. But it was off of my back, my mm-hmm. blood, sweat and tears. Mm-hmm. And like mm-hmm. the girls coming after me, it's like no shade. But like, respect me. I will call like call me. I will give you the details, everything, because you you need a foot up. Yeah. Yeah. And you wish that you had that. Oh, before. I wish. I wish. And even that, like I was. So me bringing up my husband, I was fine in the game until I linked with my husband. Everybody loved me. Everybody was fine. I had three of the boys, which are, you know, all these boys other than my husband were, were white boys. Three of the boys being like, I thought it was going to be me and you. I really thought we were going to. Yeah, they were they were salty. So as soon as I linked with Chris, they stopped talking to me because, you know, they were real threatened. So they're like, You're I not mean, able to say their names. Are you? No, I'm not. But okay, they, okay, I, okay. they had conversations <laughs> where they're like, well, I didn't want to be disrespectful to, to Swaggy because, you know, your t- the territory was marked. So I couldn't even play my game because he said, hey, yo, that's my wife. Set her aside. So I'm OK. But I, wow. I'm a lot better socially when um, people can't pus- put me in a block. Right. Yeah. So other than Chris, which mm-hmm. is your husband for the people who don't know again, yeah, Swaggy C. Swaggy that's C. how I knew him. And I like, hey, bitch. <laughs> um, other than Swaggy C, do you is there anything else that came out of this Big Brother experience that was positive? Mm-hmm. Something that you know what I mean? Yes. I don't know if it's, you know, different friendships. I mean, obviously you came out with a motherfucking you, husband, which is like no. the top. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, but like what is there anything that you're grateful for that you can really credit Big Brother and CBS for? So much. So yeah. the crazy thing is um and i like this is the thing the show is one thing production is totally different i have one amazing people within production um that just like kind of poured into me i have um this woman named sean she's a a black producer she's given me and chris marriage books we've gone out to lunch she talks to my mom when she comes in town my assistant was a producer on the show so i have an assistant now i have doors and opportunities that have opened up for me i have producers wanting to work with me on other things Mm -hmm. like it's just a an incredible thing i wouldn't have been able to get cast on the challenge without going on big brother first Mm -hmm. And then the challenge is what gave me and Chris the money to start our business, which is now grown into a a multi-million dollar business. So it's like everything started with Big Brother. And I literally am so grateful for them. There's nothing I would take away from that. But would I do it again? No, because I already (laughs) did it twice. And that's what I'm saying. And when they call me, I'm always there. When they want me to go on trips or they want me to host stuff, I'm always there. But I put in my work. So now it's the new. It's done. uh -uh. (laughs) Uh-uh. I'm done. So what I want to what I want to say the last thing I'm gonna say about Big Brother let's talk about your husband because mm-hmm. I feel like well people from the outside looking in yeah. shout out to you Swag AC we're ah! gonna have you and my man Tally very yes. very soon and it'll be a cute little power couple episode but just me and the queen um people would say that did you guys you guys got together fast Ooh, quick girl. You guys got together fast. You guys freaking decide. Like, I, okay, so when yeah. I, let me be honest. When I was watching the show, I was like, okay, they have a little something, something. But I'm not going to assume anything. You know what I mean? Because you didn't know like, it was that. Right, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to assume anything. Like, let me just l- let my bitch just play the yes. game without having to match her up with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because I just love love. I so love that. Just like, I'm I like, know. Look it's weird. not a dating show, but yes. Right, exactly, yes, yes. exactly. And I'm like, I mean, I can only imagine starting a relationship in this house without having all of the other elements that the world naturally like brings yes. to the relationship. So I'm like, 
would a, would a, would a couple even last? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yes, they can be together because it's like they're obviously working together at this point and they're stuck with each other, yes. quite frankly. Yes. But can this relationship even last? And obviously it has and mm-hmm. it's thriving. Mm-hmm. So have did you have people around you or your family members like, bitch, oh, are you sure? Oh, all of, oh listen, everybody. You know what I mean? And that was the funny part because it happened, like you said, really fast. So I went on a show, single as a Pringle, and then I came off with the whole <laughs> ass fiance <laughs> no for real ass. like i was like okay so then my best friend and I, I like told this story so funny because she got checked because that's my girl and i love her to death but like i was so in love with this man so she was just like um okay says that's cute and all like i'm, I'm very happy for you but like i need to get to know him like i need to know what's going on and i i said hey let me tell you this i said this is a whole different ball game i said this is about to be my husband i said so at the end of the day he needs to get to know you and if he don't approve you're out <gasps> and she was like no and I was like, I love you. You're my best friend forever. And I'm like, but I'm just telling you, you need to switch because you don't get to object to my boys anymore. Mm. This is my whole ass husband. Wow. I've already decided. Right. And listen, if he don't get good vibes from you, you can't come <laughs> to Christmas dinner, sis. So you need to pull it together and you need to be nice to him. So how did we know that in such a short amount of time? And I can actually speak after this because me and Tally got together very fast. But you, you know what I'm this saying? is so, this is one thing we know. Energy does not lie. So it, it was doesn't. like I got that tatted, you, bitch. Oh! literally behind my wow and i didn't even know that so if y'all thought we coordinated that no um (laughs) but no it does not lie so it was like crazy because we came in in such a a situation where we were in fight or flight mode and you already know there's typically only one black person on big brother so i thought it was going to be me when he came in the house i was like oh there's two of us we got to team up and not even on no like you know let's be i don't know it's weird we just were like i gotta look out for you so i was looking out for him he was looking out for me he called me his sister for the first you know three four days my brother yeah see that's him saying and so i'm like okay if you want that that's fine but mm-hmm. then everybody in the house was like nah he likes you and so i was getting mad i'm like okay well tell him if you like me stop calling me his sister mm. and it was like so high school it's so funny because i'm like we're so grown but he he stopped calling me his sister and he was like hey i'm tired of you know because the bed situation he's like i'm tired of sleeping with another grown-ass man um i'm gonna need bailey to come sleep with me and in front of everybody which i'm like you're blowing up the spot but fine (laughs) i'll move my stuff quietly i'll move my stuff girl and it was over from there like as soon as we just like got that intimate time and i could feel his energy and his vibe it was like no i love this man really i know wait okay i'm sorry so pause i'm sorry not each fucking person has their own motherfucking bed. no this this is what i'm telling you it looks cute it looks cute i'm sure it looks so cute no the room, no no the no. cute little you know what i'm saying Mm-mm. i'm like yes i'm gonna have Mm-mm. my own bed no. my own little situation no you share? there are 16 <gasps> people there are eight Y'all beds are crazy. that's what i'm saying and you do not know these people it is a very interesting thing like by the end of the whole thing the house smells like uh, fritos and dis- like it's disgusting corn chips it's disgusting <laughs> why would you <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> I would like so to say, and, like, and then you keep being like, would you go back? I I'm know. like, would but, you? Okay, so wait, what was the mindset when you went back for the second season? It, okay, so this is a this is the thing though. When I went back for the second season, one, it was like, okay, well, Chris is not going to be with me, so that gives me a whole different dynamic. Number one, so mm. I was like, let's try that out. Secondly, it's an all star season, and they've only had two in history, and mm. I wanted to be a black woman representing on the season. I did not know that they would have another black woman. I'm very grateful for that, mm-hmm. but they have very few options. There's about mm. three of us. That, mm. c- that are eligible to go back mm. so i said if they're asking me i need to do this for my people and i don't i don't care what it, the, the car- turnout is but they need to see a, a familiar face mm-hmm. of color mm-hmm. and so luckily there was me there was davon and there was um david there was also a, a biracial person on the show the d- diversity was pretty good this year mm-hmm. but it hasn't been like that ever in the history of ever oh so, right yeah. yeah yeah now looking back at it i've watched every single season and mm-hmm. i it makes so much But just sense. in case they didn't get that right, I, I had to just make sure I was there. So I right. took one for the team. I did okay. not enjoy it. But <laughs> safe to say, but but we did, you it. did it. You did it and you came out. Mm-hmm. So after so was it after that first season when you met Chris, that was that's when you guys decided to get married and that's when okay. we started our lives. I'm gonna tell you the speed. I'm gonna tell you the speed. Okay, okay. so here's the speed round. Basically, long story short, we got together in the house, Chris and I. We ended up doing some grown people things in the house that ended up with a pregnancy. That pregnancy that's right. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I the forget- pregnancy ended up in a miscarriage, but he was already gone from the show. So when you were saying like 
do you get to talk to people? No, I not, didn't get to talk to him and tell him I was pregnant. I get, didn't get to talk to him until I had a miscarriage. Didn't talk to my mom. Didn't talk like nothing. I was in the hospital by myself with my, the producer of my choice, like like cugging it out. So then at the end of this, he's going through this by himself. So in his head, he realizing like this, is my wife, she going through this for me. She really because it wasn't even a like a oh I'm pregnant. What do we do? It was like oh well we having a baby. What's up? You know. So wow. when that happened, the t- next time I saw him was finale, and I was like, do I still have a boyfriend or what are we doing like the outside world is coming and he gets on one knee and right. i'm like oh and to us, it's like oh dang right, real right. And, that's what I say. and nobody knew the the backstory but he was at my house in missouri with my family you know they had the call together they knew about the baby so they had this whole bonding experience where my ass was just like does it like me check right. yes or no <laughs> Yeah. So when he got on one knee, I said, the outside world right. Different. Literally, I'm like, are you going to move to me? What? Are, like, I had no idea what was going to happen. And he had already lined it up. He was like, hey, like, I'm moving to Missouri. Your family wants to be home for a while. Here's your stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Like, it was crazy. Like, I came out to a whole new life. Wow. But I liked it. Wow. I know. It was real like B. Yes. It's so much to take in. And and I think we did talk about this when I was on your show, which mm-hmm. I want to get into later too. Um, it's just it's crazy being reminded of literally the whole experience in its entirety yeah. without, you know what I mean, like everything. No, it's insane. And that's not another thing, it's like there's so much good that have come that has come out of this just whole experience like so much growth so much like there's just so many things even after that like obviously trauma with miscarriage but i had so many women reach out to me like hey like i had my rainbow baby after this many miscarriages or just take your time with this or yada 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 and to be honest i have two dogs and they are a handful i'm not ready for babies but me getting my husband out of that situation and that bond i would never would have traded it because what if you know everything would have been fine and we would have came out and i would have been like i'm so cute let me run around no like this was like a halt what are we doing and he stepped up and that was attractive to me like right. i love that right and it, it was meant to happen yeah and it happened so naturally which is Oof. so great and that and i can say that for tally and i because we were we <laughs> got together <laughs> while we were with other people <laughs> crying out loud i didn't even know if i told no. you no yeah we we me and shut man, up you guys already know because it's on my youtube channel but yeah we were with other fucking people okay. and we still ended up being the together. energy the, the, the energy, energy did not lie there he was someone that i freaking knew like i swore wow. that i knew and that i've met before i've been with before past life friendships and, yeah past mm-hmm. life friendships mm-hmm. like literally everything and i'm just like why do i why am i so comfortable with you like why are you so familiar it's wow. just something that i couldn't ignore yes so for the people so let's let's talk about this just really quick for the public for our listeners and our viewers right now like in in uh, let me see. Let me try to put this yeah, into I'm perspective. Yeah, I'm like, just, just mm, let it out there because I want to know. So, because technically, I just feel like people judged our relationship because not only did we move so fast mm-hmm. and not only did we decide that we were going to do this right away, mm-hmm. but we had other people a part of, you know, our situation. Mm-hmm. And I guess it is like if we talk about a social norm, it is wrong what we did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that was the first time I've like ever cheated on somebody. But I feel like for the first time for that, that was my first time that I ever like acted on something where Ooh. I where it was just for me. Yes, though. it was for me. It was like literally for nothing that else. Passion but I, I only had myself mm-hmm. in mind mm-hmm. and he had himself in mind. And I feel like that's the way to move yes. throughout life. I mean, obviously, like you're we we have husbands now, so we mm-hmm. always act as a team. But then at the end of the day, we're still ourselves and yes. we're still on the we're still living for ourselves and even like this like you said we have similar you know our relationships are similar to where we're we're partners and everything business partners life partners all of that right so so there's that freedom in the relationship to focus on yourself i have my own brand chris has his i don't want him fo- like we don't have to do all that together but we move as a unit but i'm focusing on me so during the day i'm doing what i need to do he doing what he need to do we have our separate lives but when we come together it's bomb right yeah, so i'm like as you should and like, like okay, said, good. It's okay. And like, here's the thing. It's like, I'm the most non-judgmental person in the world, but people have these preconceived notions of how things happen where it's like, 
line it up how did your parents get together were you born out of wedlock did you get like mm, there's, everybody mm. got listen y'all don't know mm. what y'all know what the thing you know what i'm saying y'all don't know what the what it is and who's to say that if you would have stayed in the relationship that you are you would have been miserable i don't know the person no so yeah far, i would you know? have and so, he would have too Absolutely. exactly so it's like what's meant to happen happens and the way it happens sometimes is, is messy you think that my christian ass is supposed to be having <laughs> sex on national television <laughs> and having a miscarriage <laughs> no you know how many pe- messages Bird. i got like well did she yes yeah, she sure did and right. guess what I don't like it's messy and that's what happens and it's okay I had three or four men back home mad that I came home with a fiance he had a few girls he got out of a long relationship guess what (laughs) stay mad stay mad you gotta do what you got and it's fine I did not apologize I really was like I went onto the show I had like three men sign release papers just in case I wanted to bring them up okay (laughs) Okay. and guess what I didn't right 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 yeah, you're not going to have this listen, power. Listen, haven't geez. talked to him since. Don't feel bad about it. Period. Period. I so know. what I want to say to the queens who are listening and, and, and the viewers, it's like sometimes if it has to be messy, it has to be messy. Yes. But you got to do what you got to do for yourself. Like, it's just period. It's just plain and simple. It's just putting yourself first. Why wouldn't I think, I think you, a lot of the, I, lo- I feel like a lot of our queens mm-hmm. have so much trouble with putting themselves first because mm-hmm. it's, it's, you know, conceived as being selfish. Mm. So you're not supposed to be selfish. You're always supposed to help somebody out you're always supposed to That's you know so give yourself though. to people and give and give your time and give your energy because we're supposed to share yes but mm. not the expense mm. not at the expense of my energy and what mm. i want to do and what's needed for me to keep it pushing yes you know but it's saying? also like this i challenge you to be selfish i feel like mm, mm. when you are selfish yeah. sister you are the best person for everybody around you the goal is human enlightenment mm-hmm. when you are enlightened and you're happy you're radiating your best energy when you over here sacrifice and for everybody else and not out of your own intuition just because you feel like you have to you're bitter you need to do it from a good place so if i'm full i'm living my best life i'm giving gifts i'm throwing you know i'm i'm giving the love that i want to give and on a natural way so Mm -hmm. no i'm gonna be selfish Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that y'all can experience the best bae because y'all gonna be mad if my little mean self comes out no (laughs) i'm gonna be selfish i'm gonna be selfish because that's the only way i'm gonna stay happy that's the only way i'm gonna be in this Wusa present you know what I'm saying thank the you. best light for you guys thank you so absolutely be selfish and move in a way obviously we're not going to hurt people along no. the way that's not we're, that's not what we're you saying we're to be like kind. yeah I'm not mm-hmm. saying to step all over people and to take advantage of people in a negative mm-hmm. way so that you can no I'm just saying to give all of your energy and to mm-hmm. give all of what you may have given to these people <laughs> to yourself yes you know pour into your cup and guess what it'll overflow and they'll they'll get their water so what does that mean to you of, you know, pouring into yourself and self-love? Because I just feel like in this day and age right now, it is so common and me- maybe even trendy. Trendy. I was thinking that trendy. Like, yes, self-love, self-love. Yeah. Self-care Sunday. Me. Yeah. yeah. To, you know, to do me and da 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 But are you really? Mm. Are you really giving to yourself in a way that will last and sustain, bitch? Or are you just... <laughs> are you? Are you just, right. Like, are you? Because it's just like a fucking hashtag mm. at this point. So like... What is your definition uh, to our people of self love mm. and self care and just and giving to yourself? Like, yes. what does that look like for Bay? Let, mm, I can go. I'm I'm gonna go deep because please do. Um, I there's am, no other way. Be, listen, I'm queen of actual self worth. It's um it's crazy because I've been through traumatic things in my life. So I hit rock bottom at a, a pretty young age. So me growing up Christian, I was um a virgin by choice until 17 I had a sexual assault thing that happened to me and it was really really rough for me because at that point my whole entire identity was gone like I was Mm -hmm. worthless I was you know just like I felt dirty kind of kind of a thing so I had to start my work really really young and be like okay where is your self-worth who are you what is your does this make you just a terrible person and I had to come like and even fighting with people at the church. I am not broken. I am not dirty because something happened to me that was out of my control. So do not put that on me. I'm not doing this with you. So I had to find my own self-worth. And then you go in, you read the books. How does this make you feel? You write the affirmations. You talk to yourself in the mirror. You gotta look, you, like you really have to dig in because these these people on the outside world, they trying to they trying to tear you down. If I would have gone into a reality TV situation with the mm. confidence that I had when I was a 17-year-old girl, I literally would have been suicidal. It's not okay. So my self-worth, I take it very seriously. 
seriously. When right. I say self love, I'm like, no, no, no. If I don't feel right, right. we're gonna meditate. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna do this yoga. We're gonna journal some things out. We're gonna take a bubble bath in the middle of the day if necessary. Whatever <laughs> it takes. Did you know that I did <laughs> I, at two p.m. I was like, let that. me just because I need to feel good right now, and then that way I can be the best babe and I will work hard. But no, self love means putting yourself first okay. when it might not be convenient. Right. If you made plans, but you feeling like yada, 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 guess what? I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to reschedule because I feel blah, 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 blah. Or there's no reason. I'm going to have to reschedule, sis. Right. Period. Saying no. Saying no. when I, I Boundaries. Still, I still have problems saying mm. no. It is like, it is, it is a problem. Yes. You're a people pleaser too. Ugh. It's the worst. I'm the worst. Did I we talk about that. Yes, we that? did. Me and you are the same uh, with that. So, swag, you don't care. So that's really helpful. Holly doesn't care. That's I'm, which is really nice because <laughs> I can be like, I'm sorry, babe said no, and that <laughs> makes. Can I blame it on you? Yeah, uh, I'm like, babe, no. can I please? Honey, say yeah, no. I'm me. like, babe, can I please? Sorry, text Holly him? doesn't want me mm-hmm, to. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it's not a good day for us. <laughs> like real talk, but I can't do that by myself. So he, his right. strength comes in. But boundaries have been the hardest part for me because I will let people run over me. I will let people, you know, take, 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 and then. I have nothing to give like I have been the nicest person ever and then I'll have those stat moments Mm -hmm. where I look like a fire breathing dragon and that's not who I am but I'm just fed up so now it's like set boundaries along the way Mm. specifically Mm. with my mother because she'd be trying it you Mm. know but like no right right that's it yeah my availability is no (laughs) (laughs) yeah my availability is no no. I'm gonna start using that period It's just too much. So queens who are listening and, and, you know, the viewers, yes, self-love, yes, self-sustainment, and Mm -hmm. yes, giving, giving, giving yourself what you deserve and what's needed for you to move Mm -hmm. with a positive light and move with in a high vibration always Mm -hmm. so that you're Mm -hmm. always attracting things that match that and things that are aligned to that. And sometimes, and you know what? You're human. Like you're not just going to, I feel like you don't get to that place just tomorrow, just because you hashtag it or just because this is something that you believe in now. Don't you think that it's a, it's, it's a, it's a growing process. Mm. It's, I think it's a never ending process because you are always learning yourself. You are always going through life, learning different perspectives, getting like different, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, different mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. vibes and different things from everywhere, from people, from uh, 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 from uh, 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 experiences, mm-hmm. from like just different shit. Yeah. So it's like it just never stops. No, because your situation is never going to be the same as it was yesterday or the day before. That's what, what I'm, I'm looking saying? for. That's what I'm looking for. So it's a constant evolution. Constant and, it, evolution. and it really is. That's why the adjusting is so necessary. And that's why it's not just self-care once a month. No, it's you need to check in with yourself because things are changing. So Mm -hmm. if you look up and you don't pay attention, you're going to be like out of whack. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Moving on to and I literally it literally just popped into my head when I was listening to you. So when I was on her show, The Penthouse, which Mm -hmm. I just want you to explain briefly. Yes. What is your show, The Penthouse? Because I was was a guest. (sighs) After you guys watch this, you guys have to go to which I'm going to tag it. But that's for yes. a production note. Um, we're gonna, you know, put that in there or whatever. But please explain yes. to us the penthouse. Tap into the penthouse. So the penthouse is actually, and this is where the best ideas come from. My husband had an idea that I um, started an interview show where I bring people on that inspire me, and we talk about things that are um, usually not talked about or that people kind of shy away from. So the penthouse is where all the pent up feelings or awkwardness come out. You know, mm, you know what I'm saying? Come on, you know? I didn't realize Yes, that. and okay. so we can talk about. Like, it's just a a safe space. So when I was coming off, you know, the first show originally, I got hit up by, you know, people, us weekly, like so many people wanting to know my miscarriage story. And it was like, I felt like I was preyed on. So I just Mm. didn't talk about it. Mm. Me and my husband did a YouTube video, like later explaining everything. And Mm. I felt safe there. And so I was like, I want a place where people like us can come and talk about things with people like us versus people that are hounding them down. So I wanted to be a conversation. And so when I bring people on, we're just talking, we're enjoying things. And it's a conversation that they wouldn't have gotten in a regular interview Mm. because you know, it's somebody they can relate to. Right. Mm-hmm. I uh, and listen, because I had a fabulous, we relate fabulous time yes. at the penthouse. <laughs> it's literally a motherfucking penthouse, <laughs> bitch. If okay. you've never been in a penthouse, okay. you just got to watch the show and you just got to live like vicariously yes. through the screen. The view is serious. Um, but I remember you had asked me because you said that you were dealing with this yourself. And I want to know mm-hmm. if, you know, it's if that if this has gotten better or if this has kind of become a little bit more clear, you 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 asked me, like, do you ever get to a point where 
you where you hit a ceiling mm-hmm. and it's like, bitch, what's next? Mm-hmm. And maybe not knowing the answer, not knowing the answer to that. It's like, you know, what do you do? And then mm-hmm. I had answered whatever I wanted mm-hmm. to answer or whatever I answered at the time. <laughs> Go check the interview. To know <laughs> what like. I answered. <laughs> um, but, you know, are you still or do you still feel that way to where you feel like, damn, I feel like I've, I have everything that I want. I've done everything that I wanted to do. Like, what is next? Yes. Have you found that next or have you figured out what that next? Have you started that next? Yes. Talk to me about that. Okay, I'm so happy you brought this up. This ma- like I'm smile, y'all. If you don't know, I'm smiling from cheek to cheek, and my cheeks are numb at this point. Okay, so I am so excited because I was in that space of like, what's next? I have everything I want for about a month, and it was really slow. And I'm not like a slow person. I get like bored and sad, but it all of a sudden clicked and it's like timing is everything and that alignment just kind of shifted my husband and I thought we were going to be moving to Dallas but and you're not and we're not <laughs> yeah so, so we yes. have you too yes, yes. Callie and I have been I know for no, another s- couple that we like uh, we like we love that we love that we can hang out oh thank goodness yes I know and so we're, we're already like- doing our dinner Swaggy was like texting me about it so yes so we are going to be staying in LA and that kind of shifted the direction for me because I had goals that I had set when we moved to LA and it happened to be Chris's time at the moment so we poured into his business and it ended up being really really awesome and so I was ready to leave because I'm like listen I'm I'm good f- financially free life is great but then God said hold on because when I when I sent you here I had a mission for you and I understand that you've been a supportive wife you've done your role and now you guys are in a great spot but these resources that I gave to him are to pour into you and so I said oh mm. and it really is and so now that his brain is established he's ready to pour into mine and so there is i have the penthouse we're going to do another show called bailey daily where it's kind of similar to this it's not a a podcast but it's people calling in so we're going to do a call in you're definitely coming on to give advice and it's going to be an amazing time i'm also going to do um i'm getting back on it like i'm back in the gym because you know that was a a struggle (laughs) Lord. Oh, the quarantine was set, but I'm back in the gym. <laughs> I'm going to be back on my modeling stuff. I want to get into Period. my hosting stuff. I had some production meetings. Like I'm really about to be on the scene and I'm about to be the bad bitch Bailey that people really thought that they was, go- you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. she's here and she's ready to work like boss bitch up. Right. So I'm excited because I really thought I was just going to be like, okay, let me be supportive. Let me know. Th- and he's like, no, babe, your brand's going to be huge. Like you need to be adding this into it. Wow. Add in your yoga, add in your athleisure, add it. And I, I'm like, oh, Okay, you're right. Right. You know? And you don't get that often. Supportive right. husbands that want, you know, because normally once you get married, they're like, okay, take her off the shelf. Let me hide her over here. And he's like, no, put her up so everybody can see her. And that's how you fucking know. I mean, you already knew that's why he was the one. But now it's like, even that, it's like you. It's like when you guys get married and you guys mm. make it the real motherfucking deal, it's like so then you kind of start to learn things mm-hmm. about one another or maybe people start to, you know, we, one of you guys would maybe start to get in your field yes. or maybe one person person is a, a little bit more sexy. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I know it, ha- it wasn't that case for you guys but when you find somebody that's ultimately like unconditionally supportive and loving and pouring into the other person yes. it's just like uh but it and it's also like and I like that that makes me so happy it's it's the waves the smooth waves because sometimes it is like the uh, your partner will be more successful than you and that's okay mm-hmm. like when you're at this wave you're not looking at at him or her pissed you're, mm-hmm. you're not jealous you know what i'm saying you're just like wow i'm so excited to be pouring into this person and then when the wave comes back around you you're like wow i'm so excited to be lifted up like mm-hmm. it just works because you have to think about it like this when we got on big brother i was on for the whole season he got lemonated after two weeks which means his check was like two grand so mm-hmm. when he got me i was the one with the money from the season and mm-hmm. i'm like okay i'm gonna be yada 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 we go on our next show i stayed longer than him i made it to a final he didn't he and I were on the same level for a while. I was making collabs because boys don't do social media. Right. You know, so he's just being this amazing, soul, like, amazing husband. He came to my modeling photo shoots with me, carrying my suitcase. He's, you know, holding my hair. Like, like, he's yeah. being supportive. And then yeah. when his business popped off, there was not even a question. I wish I would be like, well, it's supposed to be about me. What? Mm-hmm. He's been out here riding for me, so I'm a ride for him. And then now that he's done, like, he's set up, he's like, okay, babe, your turn again. And it's back and forth. It's no like, oh, well, I've been at home all day. Right. Right. How about this? Thank you, babe, for working and so that I can be at home all day doing nothing. <laughs> Thank you, because I really needed to lay here. I don't want to be ch- clocking in the work, you know? So it's like the right. gratitude, like change your perspective because right. I'm right. not about to be mad at him for affording me a life that I really mm. like have always wanted. Like this is a beautiful experience. Like I get mm. what? 
Mm. I get to wake up to the most inspiring view every single day. That's because of the hard work that you put in, that you grinded for. Like, come on. Mm. Girl, I'm grateful for my man. I'm telling you. Come I, on. People can be mad, but I love okay. him. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, damn, let me not get into that shit. Wait, I want it on this. Damn, I wanted to stay on this Sorry. because you talk and I'm just like, bloop, bloop, bloop. Um, what would you say to people mm-hmm. who feel like they are? feel like they feel like they've already reached the ceiling Mm -hmm. because because you were you feel you felt like you were at that point um maybe just last month or whenever um i came on the show Mm -hmm. but it was just it was literally just recent so if you can kind of like visit where you were and Mm -hmm. and and give some advice to people who feel like oh what's next i'm about to drop a bar on you i'm so this is so funny okay um they're called glass ceilings for a reason. Break that bitch. They, I'm just like, they do not exist. And that's the thing. I was like, oh, well, I'm just this society of, okay, well, you're married. So now it's time to have kids. Okay. So, so you're, you know, you're past 25. So now you can't uh, post sexy anymore. What? Right. What? No, bitch. they don't right. exist. So I'm just going to go chisel, break that move over here. Like it's, it's not a thing for me. So I'm just like, I looked at this supermodel the other day. She is 40 and stunning and looks a day, a day over 21 these rules of like you got to be 16 and a size zero or you got it it's just not they don't exist anymore so make your path and keep moving mm-hmm. if you stop creating you're gonna die mm-hmm. whether it's internally spiritually or physically mm-hmm. if you stop creating you're gonna die so just do it right mm-hmm. i know i, I was know. in that uh-uh. I was in that rut for a while, and then I was like, "Bitch, wake the fuck up! Like, right. you need to remember who you are. This is not this is not what I have for you." Right? There are like I have, I have a couple of people who are you know like they are creative, but they didn't necessarily get into their creativeness mm. when it comes to their occupation. So now, mm. and I know a lot of my, you know, a lot of my viewers and my listeners are in this place where it's like, you know, cause we have to take care of our responsibilities. Yes. So we are working these nine to fives. We are working these quote unquote normal yes. jobs. And from here at this point, mm-hmm. I feel stuck. Cause it's like, what do I do? Yes. Do I go out and live my life and, and be cr- the creative singer, model, dancer, whatever that I want to be and live out my motherfucking dreams mm-hmm. or because I need to fu- because I need to pay these motherfucking bills mm-hmm. and I need to, you know, put clothes and food on the table mm. or whatever. Do I stay here in my miserable job? Mm. And it's like and I'm stuck here. Mm-hmm. So where do I go? And for, you know, one of the people that I know, I'm like now, OK, yes, take care of your responsibilities. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's always a way to balance both. Yes. There's always a way to, you know, I mean, don't be dumb about it. Yes. Don't just like let everything go. And then now you are living in your car or whatever the situation is. You know what I'm saying? Um, Unless you're Steve Harvey and that that works for you. Right. Right. I mean, and and you know what? Going going to him, I feel like he had that he he happily will live in his car Ooh. so that he can live the life that he wanted to live and 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 be in you know his comedy space because mm-hmm. he knew where he where he yes. was going. He believed in himself. See, and that's that's one thing. Like as you're talking, that's what I was thinking. It depends on how bad you want it, and that's what I would say to these people because um, I was a flight attendant. Working my nine to five, popping around the country while I was training for Miss Missouri USA. I won Miss Missouri USA. I was training for Miss USA while I was flight attending and modeling. And like, you just got to balance it because my attention, like your 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 goals is where your attention is. If you keep your attention on the things that you want, that will grow. It will grow. So yes, as, while, while you're balancing this other job, because you can't quit your job, you got to right. pay your bills. Right. Put your attention on the things that you want and they will begin to blossom and manifest. And then you won't even have to worry about it because your gift will make room for itself and that's genuinely how I feel about it so for me it's like the people that are stuck like oh I'm stuck you're spending too much negative time even saying that you're stuck your energy shouldn't even be going on that oh well it's me I'm stuck no 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 no. Mm. you should be like I don't even got time to be complaining about being stuck because you know what I'm about to do I'm digging a hole right now right but then for the people because I have I know people who Mm -hmm. are who feel like now you know they're taking care of their responsibilities but now it's a burden on my soul Mm. to wake up and go to work every single day and now like now I'm finding less and less time to balance Mm. and to find the positive thoughts to you know to have and to have and you know make this a situation Mm -hmm. so now I'm like borderline depressed because now I'm like stuck stuck Mm. not just stuck like ooh where to go but now I'm stuck because where do I where where is 
Where? the path you're like where's the light okay so, where's the so, light so another thing is i say if you are that person um get the book asking and it is given and there's exercises in the back of the book that will tell you how to manifest your way out of that if you're at depressed there's an emotional set point scale that needs to get you back up to, to happy number one so start with yourself secondly is make a game plan because if you know this is not working you know what i would do okay what what do i need to do to be able to take a full month or two off to be able to pursue my passions to set me up in a, in a right place or even if it's like okay I'm gonna have to quit my job and take a job that might pay a little bit less I might have to sell a few stuff may have to live in a smaller apartment but I'm gonna do this in order to transition into where I need to be like mm. I watch you know Gary V a lot and he is like hey I don't know why people are, you know, so like, I need to have this. I need to have this. And he's like, sell your car, sell the mattress. If you want, you know what I'm saying? If you want stuff that bad, be uncomfortable, live, live in a little hut, live in a studio, sleep on somebody's couch. Like you, you got to put that ego to the side and your pride down because, okay, you can be cute with, with your house and stuff, but your, your soul is dead. Or you mm. can set your ego mm. to the side and you can say, yeah, this is going to be embarrassing for a little bit. When me and Chris came off the show, we lived at my parents' house for a few months. People were like, you're living off her parents. You're a bum. You're this, this, and that. We don't care. Guess what? Y'all can't say nothing about it now because my parents, I'm blessed to have parents or people's couch to sleep on or anything to be able to put me in a position to where I can restructure and go out and get it myself. Like, look at it in a different light. Those are blessings. Like, mm. don't be mad. Oh, you're sleeping on your mom's couch. Yep. Oh, I'm so glad my mom got a house for, couch for me. <laughs> sleep on <laughs> yeah because i'm making these moves right right and it's gonna pay yeah what did steve harvey say he was and this is like the mm. last thing that we're gonna give to them it, he was like damn what was it are you talking about the faith quote which one are you talking about it's you know either I that it's either that one or it was like don't you gotta work or <laughs> spit it out don't be afraid of the work or don't be a, it was something along the lines of you know, uh, putting your ego to the mm -hmm. side and kind Are of surrender, surrendering to the, the process. Like you f sometimes feel people feel like it has to happen in this way. Mm -hmm. Like I, I talked about the list on your show yes. where it was like people, people are like, okay, you got to do this and then you got to do that. And then this is how it's going to happen. Da, 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 da. It's kind of surrendering to um, your fucking journey or however mm -hmm. that looks like. However, how if it looks raw, if mm -hmm. it looks like, you know, a crust in a little corner or yes. whatever, so that you can go do this comedy show mm -hmm. or so that you can can you know take a couple pictures here and there or teach some dance classes yes. or whatever to turn it into the fabulous queens and lettles that it is yes <laughs> okay that's what you're gonna have to do yes. but uh, i can't think well of we're gonna we'll, we'll make it we'll make it our own so okay. surrender that's number one and the surrender. second thing oh, is the, this is the will smith one of the best things in life are on the other side of fear so the best things in life are on the other side of fear you just need to surrender that's our quote okay. for today because it, it really really is i know it's gonna look like I said, that it's just all ego. That's that's the only way I can explain it. And when you drop that ego and mm -hmm. people's opinions no longer affect you and you start looking out for yourself, being selfish, it will all unfold. Get the book. Asking it is given. Come on, come on. Because I'm like... Asking, yes, no. Asking, asking it, it is, is given, given by freaking uh, uh, Abraham and... Abraham Hicks. Abraham Hicks, yes. yes. Um. Also, the book that you told me to read, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. I was like, more enlightenment. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Like, this was amazing. Like, so for you guys. You read it. I read it. You know, Shut I up. read it. I read, girl. <gasps> so I read the book. But I, I want y'all to know that the only time that even is even valid is the time that is right now. So do everything you can in this moment. Just one step at a time. Don't, don't pay too much attention to the past. Don't pay too much attention to the future. Just how do you feel in this moment? Mm. How do I feel in this moment? I feel so grateful to have you here, Bay. I feel so grateful for our friendship. Yes. And it's very much in the beginning, but it almost it literally feels like our, you know, <laughs> our relationship with our men, except we are women. Yes. And it's and it's, you know, it's our just sisterhood. our sisterhood. Mm -hmm. And it feels so familiar. It feels so good. Thank you so much for coming on to After Class, the Queens podcast. This Thank is you. your home. Thank you guys so much for listening and for watching. Bay, where can we find you, please? You your guys, Instagram, yes. your YouTube, all of that. Please. My socials are at Bay Day with two Y's on each. And my YouTube is Bailey Daily, where you'll find the penthouse and all my other cute shows. Yes. And we'll be seeing more of her. I am yes. sure. I'm, I'm going Bay. up. I just got started. LA about to open. So okay. I'm about to come out. Yes. So <laughs> please, 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 if you need to watch this over, go ahead and rewind. Watch this over take some notes please apply these things to your life because we literally are 
we are living our lives mm -hmm. and it's so it's so nice to be able to have these resources and these platforms to be able to pass it down to you know to other queens and kings too not even just for women like we gotta uplift our kings as well the whole royal family the whole royal family because i feel like everybody can live in this abundance everybody can live in love mm -hmm. everybody can live in happiness mm -hmm. um that's that's the pursuit. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's what life should be about. It should be about excitement. It should be about all its inspiration, creativity, everything. We're all meant for it. Yes. Even if you feel like you don't have it, you guys. So even for the people who feel stuck, there are answers. Mm -hmm. You just got to do the work and find them. Yeah. So we're going to leave you with that. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Come back here for our next episode of After Class of Queens podcast. We'll see you later. Mwah.